One of the interesting things about the Game Awards over the past couple of years is their dedication to trying to shield you on Cyberpunk 2077, right? People forget that the expansion for Cyberpunk came out this year and that a number of notable PC gaming YouTubers tried to gaslight people into thinking the game was good now and that everything was fixed and that this was a game of the year contender. It came and went, you know, quicker than Baldur's Gate 3, right? This, like, Baldur's Gate 3 was forgotten in a month. This was forgotten, like, before it even came out, right? Like, I imagine most of the player base wasn't even aware that the DLC was coming out. And there were a lot of signs that they were going to do this, right? You know, they they produced the, uh, the animated series on Netflix. They, they, uh... They've been, uh, you know, shilling the patches. They've been trying to convince people the game is good now. The reason being is that the industry is desperately trying to scramble to salvage Cyber uh, CD Projekt Red from uh, their failure with the original release. They're trying to keep this uh, this company on the pedestal that they put them on in 2015 with the with the release of The Witcher 3. Right? You know, CD Projekt Red fell from grace unusually quickly from a propped up studio. Right with with uh with like Bioware, it lasted like what from 2003 to 2013 with like the release of Mass Effect 3, where like the crack started like you know just destroying the entire company. Like uh you know CD Projekt Red didn't manage half that. Okay, like uh, these these co these studios are just falling from grace all the time, or before they even can become relevant. Like Embracer Group is probably a really good example of this, where they bought up a bunch of IPs, and everyone thought they were going to be a major player in the industry, only to release Saints Row, a game so bad that even like woke activists like Review Tech USA will tell you that it bombed because it was way too woke. Right? <laughs> go woke, go broke was proven to be a real thing with Saints Row, but like uh. You look at Cyberpunk 2077, right? You look at this game, right? It's still broken. It's still unfinished. It's, like, not fun at all. But you are seeing a lot of notable people, you know, like Noah Antweiler, the Spoonie one. You know, uh, you know, Angry Joe speaks positively of it. You, uh, you're seeing the Game Awards talk about this. You're seeing people try and convince you, trying to gaslight you into thinking Cyberpunk 2077 is good now. Right, and this has been going on for a long time. I've addressed this for a long time, and I expressed my concerns that this would result in a another No Man's Sky situation, in which a lot of people would gaslight themselves into thinking the game was always good, and that the backlash was unwarranted. That the the game has been updated so much that uh, it became the game that Sean Murray originally promised. It's not true. Right, like I was concerned about that, but you know, other than the the Game Awards shill picks, like it really does feel like Cyberpunk is not talked about whatsoever. Right, nobody cared about it. Nobody, nobody is going out there making videos like defending Cyberpunk or anything. Like all anyone is doing is doing the same things they were doing in 2013, when like I insisting that the, the game is going to be amazing on their uh, brand new gaming PCs, but uh, once once CD Projekt Red like just fix all, fixes all the glitches, but it it just isn't gonna happen. What? <laughs> the game has been out three years now, and there are still people shilling for it. There are still people advocating it for it. There are still people saying it's an amazing game that this is one of the best uh, DLC expansions they've ever seen in their lives. But they are very 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 few and far between. Right, like I, I expect that uh, the Game Awards is going to pay a lot of lip service to CD Projekt Red because I'm sure they're shelling out cash for this. They're they're doing everything they can to manipulate people into thinking they're they're good again and that they'll uh, they'll rebuild their reputation after The Witcher Three. But like, it's been too long, right? Like, it has been eight years since The Witcher Three came out. Right? It has been years since Cyberpunk 2077 came out. Like, is anybody really holding out hope that the Witcher 1 remake is going to be good, or that they're going to put out a new a new Cyberpunk game, or a new IP in general? Like, it just isn't going to happen. They have destroyed their reputation. Nobody is looking forward to their next product. Nobody. And uh, they're doing everything they can to, like, build themselves back up, to try and, like, make themselves relevant again, but, like, 
it's so weird when you look at this. When when you see people try to tell you that, oh, Zelda's been dead since Ocarina of Time. You know, it's basically a remake of A Link to the Past. Like, it's so weird how you'll see people, like, point, paint these narratives about Nintendo franchises, right? You know, how 2D Mario was good, but 64, like, dropped the ball. How how Metroid Fusion dropped the ball from Super, you know? Like, you, you'll see people say all this weird stuff about how Nintendo used to be good, and then they fell off. You know, in spite of, like, you know, all these sequels, all these success stories, all these innovations, right? There hasn't been anything like that for CD Projekt Red. There has been no new content since The Witcher 3. And if you're like me, you didn't like The Witcher 3 to begin with. So it's like, okay, what makes this studio so special? What makes them so relevant? Why exactly are the Game Awards shilling out for them every year? Why do we have to put up with this nonsense every year? Why are we talking about a studio that doesn't produce video games at the Video Game Awards show? Right? Like, it it really needs to stop, okay? I really expect where we might see some uh, CD Projekt Red kind of, like, damage control at the show. I don't know if they're, like, they might drop a new trailer for The Witcher 1 remake or, or whatever. They, they could do anything. Like, they're going to try to do something to try to get people to, like, care about them again, right? Like, I don't know if it'll be at the Game Awards, but, like, they're they're going to try. They're going to try and, and damage control the situation. They're going to try to get people, like, invested in Cyberpunk. They're going to try get, to get those stock prices back up and going to try to the, to be, like, uh, to be competitive again. But it's over. It really is. Like, <laughs> Nintendo put out a sequel to Breath of the Wild in six years. You know, like they put out another open world game with real technical evo evolution, right, and innovations, while Witcher 3 has, has never had a real sequel, right? They have completely stagnated over the past decade. They killed off their one cash cow right when it was starting to become a big deal, and uh, they just cannot keep going. They cannot keep themselves relevant. They cannot they cannot keep innovating. They cannot keep the up this illusion that they're relevant. Even with Jeff Keighley and the Game Awards shilling out for them, right? There are there are a lot of issues with the way the Game Awards are being conducted, but I think this is the big one, is just the defense force for certain products. Now, I think Kojima Productions is, like, the number one example of this, of, like, why I have an issue with Jeff Keighley in particular. But, like, looking at, looking at CD Projekt Red, they're probably a close second because I just cannot stand, cannot stand how much of a pass they've been given over the past several years, over this situation. Cyberpunk 2077 was never good. It will never be good. And anyone who is telling you otherwise is lying to you. 